Welcome guys back to more episodes of the X-Files. We've got the two, well, three-parter out the way now, so we're going to move straight on. Um, it's, it was one of the better mini two, three-part series that we've had throughout the whole of the X-Files. I really enjoyed it, especially as it was a way for them to bring Mulder back from the dead, pretty much. Um, how are the dynamics going to work now? With the three of them as a trio, even though Scully's going to be taking the leave of absence pretty soon. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, we're going to carry on. This is episode 70. Are you firing me? You can hold your head up, Jeb. I love how they didn't give you all this bullshit. Good job here. I, I don't believe this. I, I, I thought this was just an evaluation. You're doing really well. You fired. <laughs> Must be horrible. I mean, we've all had it, but obviously these guys are cool. It's not just a job, so... Nothing, I'm just here to kill you. But I'm assuming the mild mannered guy we saw get fired was not the one who came back in. Uh, Monica Reyes. Frank Potter, New Orleans PD. Trying to quit the habit. Denise Crosby's in this. I tried to quit smoking myself once. I hated that damn go. This is Jeb Duke's work area. I found this among his personal effects. There's some who felt he had a dark side. Which could explain that there. No. Can I look in there? That's just a CD. What are you going on about? The fact is a killer like this is usually pushed over the edge by what we call a stressor. Like they getting fired. An, event, an emotional breakdown. That's most likely what drove him to murder. Yeah, but what about all these images, these devil pictures? That's a CD. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson? Oh, good Your God, dude. They probably buy his CDs at Kmart. I don't think there's anything satanic going on. Get here. with the times. I was just about to jump in the shower, but I was waiting for the pizza man. You got something going on with the pizza man I should know about? <laughs> we have no good, reliable information on this man. I mean, what I am saying is the pizza man is not above suspicion. <laughs> uh, I was going through some stuff after my mother died, and um, it's just an old family keepsake, and I wanted you to have it. Yeah, it's 2908. 2908. What'd you get on it? A tank of gas? $30 for a pizza? Call 911. What the hell's going on now? Now, Scully? Oh, come Anna? on. She's got what? Abdominal pains? They're both uh, partners, kind of. But not that kind of partner. Mulder. Special Agent Fox Mulder. Speaking. Reyes. Agent Mulder, my name is Monica Reyes. She needs you. We never met. I can't help you, Agent Reyes, for so many reasons. I think you should contact Agent Doggett. I think this is still him and there's now something dark inside in him of him controlling him. Because he knew to go back and do that to the people who fired him. So, he's still in there somewhere, right? Oh, okay. It won't let you. No, it won't let you. That's actually not too bad of special effects for the time. Interesting. How are we going to stop this? You were the lead investigator? Once it fell to the FBI. Agent Doggett was with the NYPD at the time. We worked it together. I can't begin to imagine what it was like for John. I just can't go to him until I know if what I saw means anything. You said this case involves some kind of phenomena? Uh-huh. Possibly. I don't know if it was a psychic experience or what, but when we found his son, the body was changed. Changed? Mm. To what? Ashes. That it could somehow point to who's responsible if only I let it. And I've had the same vision. There has to be a reason for it. So are we possibly led to believe here that Doggett's son's killer 
was possessed by this thing at the time, and this thing moves from person to person, possibly being forced out when the body it possesses dies, because we just saw the car accident incident, whatever. Um, and obviously the, the, the victim would have died. And what that man saw, who got fired, was him walking towards him on fire, which nobody else saw, which means the victim is still in the car, the body's still in the car. That essence or whatever that came from him has transferred to somebody else. Maybe it does it at death. Take it easy. Get out of my business! Take it easy, Agent You want to get something on me, you ask for it! Is this you? Is this you looking into this? Why don't you just calm down, Agent Doggett, and let her explain the connection to you? Not this again. You're not going to make something out of nothing. Bob Harvey. Does that name mean something or not? He's nothing? so close-minded at times. Bob Harvey was a suspect in the death of my son. We questioned him, but then we realized he wasn't our man. What's the connection? Here's the guy in the car, Jason. That's it. And then there was the vision. No, there's no connection. I don't care what you saw, you leave it alone. And you leave it the hell alone. Because I'm assuming whatever this thing is, it doesn't care about human life. So I killing know, a kid Jason. doesn't make any difference. I believe that we're all born good. Uncorrupted. He just isn't capable of this. Does the name Bob Harvey mean anything to you? Doubtful. Did you ever have any dealings with him? No. I really can't talk right now. It's been a very bad day here. Listen, it wasn't me that killed those people, all right? It was somebody else. I'm telling you, it was somebody else. I'm sorry to bother you. I got a flat tire back a ways. Just came by to see how you're doing. I'm, uh, I feel all druggy. You work with Agent Molden for uh, how long? A long time. And he's not here to harm anything. He never believed in any of this stuff, this... Paranormal, or whatever you call it. He still didn't deny with it. Change your mind. From what she saw. I realized it was me. Irrefutable. That I was afraid. Because as, ad as adults, we are conditioned to ignore stuff that shouldn't be. Was he remembering? Yeah. Oh, this is eerie, this. The way they're doing the shots with Doggett, it's eerie. Agent Doggett, why do you ask? So no reason. Yeah. People close to crimes who experience visions of death disassociated from reality. And what did you find? Absolutely nothing. You're wrong. <laughs> I think I know these files. And I know what I saw. I think that's a coincidence. I think that, that life is full of them. You see, you could look at this another way as well. Whatever this thing is, could have existed for hundreds, possibly even thousands of years. You don't know. Just traveling from host to host as each host dies and moves on to another one. And throughout history, where you're able to pinpoint its victims and, and all the way back, would possibly be responsible for loads of people that committed crimes completely out of character as to who that person was because it was that thing. Things we see but can't comprehend. You believe that? Why can't you believe this? I think there's an opening coming up in this office and you might want to apply. <laughs> Just fire. The urge. Yeah, she's dead. I mean, this makes no sense, does it? This guy who's got fired has gone out and just killed some random woman changing the tire. It was one thing, motive as a stressor to kill his former boss. And asking myself but, that same question. Yeah, explain dog. this. He's got a murder victim out here. Woman's Say that again. Shot. Are you quite sure? He just keeps seeing that. There she is. Come on. Let him see something. Maybe because you don't want to. I think you do. You're just afraid to go there. Hey, you just keep shooting until you hit something, don't you? She does. What if 
This is a thread of evil. Connecting through time. Through Jeez. men, through opportunity. Bottom. Connecting back to you. They see evil and death the way other people see God in a rose. I saw Elvis in a potato chip once. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I, do. I would prefer it would have showed us that he did see it and that he's denying that he sees it. I've actually been out in the field with Agent Doggett and this um, female agent from New Orleans. Agent Reyes? Yeah. Actually one that involves Agent Doggett's son. The son who died. Yeah, he's never talked to me about him, but I know something. Are you able to help him at all? He doesn't want it. He can't help a man who can't help himself. No. The FBI was here, Jim. I didn't do what they said, Kath. It wasn't me, okay? Which well, can't harm you. Please. I think every time it takes over and kills, he's not conscious of it. Because he wants to be around people that he cares for, and this thing doesn't. Damn it, Monica, you want to find this guy. I'm trying to find him. But you're doing it what the do traditional way. It won't work. Honest about what your feelings tell you? Feelings don't solve crimes. What the hell's it matter what my feelings are? How the hell's that going to get the job done? I got to believe that I did everything I could to find my son. He does want to believe that he didn't. You did do everything to find your son. And these, these other possibilities that you talk about, that Mulder talks about, that Agent Skelly talks about, if they're real, they are. that's something else I could have done to save my son. Then well, that's why you're frightened of it. It is. This guy somehow has some link to my son, and I'm damn sure going to find out what it is. I just want you to tell her what you told me. She can help you. Who? I said who, damn it! Come on, baby. You lied to me! Come on, just mommy. get back! See, I'm assuming just that yes. now is totally out of character. Drop the gun! You drop the gun! Oh, my God. I'll shoot her, I swear! Mommy! 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 I said stay back! I was afraid I was going to end up with was him being shot and nothing. Now, if you want to save him, let the doctors do their work, okay? Now, who's the immediate family member here? There's nothing more you can do. No. You can't tell me that now. Maybe saving this girl was the reason. Maybe that's what this was all about. That's the scene. I was assuming when he showed our victim that the scene of her there with all the coppers or when they found his son. And that's when he saw it. It's dogged. And when I, uh, I first came to work at the FBI, I worked at violent crimes. And I saw, the, I saw the worst of humanity. I saw monsters, psychological explanations, victims of their environment, victims of their parents. But those scientific explanations were never truly satisfying. And I began to think about evil like like a disease an occurrence in somebody's life a, a tragedy or a loss makes them vulnerable leaves them vulnerable at that point in their lives when they're weakened that's when it happens they're open to evil and they can become evil oh wow that's such well, a good truly, explanation what is, is this man we wheeled in here tonight is infected with evil you really believe that agent Muller? i think he's he's spot with it yeah. I'm not really a good test for questions like that. I'll believe almost anything. <laughs> Somebody! Push one gram of it. He's gonna go. I Sorry, I was muted, though. Call it. Oh, no. Call it. I'll be looking for his next victim. Host, whatever you want to call it. Somebody when... Somebody who is in that very vulnerable position that Mulder was just talking about. And there it goes. Oh, I've got chills. Oh. Ch oh, fuck. Stop her, stop her, stop her. Now, why would she do that? I thought it was going to end there. No explanation to that is the dog. 
I like that that leaves that just no answers at all. That was actually a very good episode. Um, obviously haunting and horrible, bringing it, the subject back up for Doggett. But what I was trying to say in commentary at the end there when everything kicked off was <sighs> Mulder's explanation as to how certain people can just become evil. What appears to almost be overnight from somebody who was of a stable nature, like our victim here, the guy, and then her as well, because this thing is pure evil that moves from host to host. And when that host dies, it doesn't just, I was thinking it was just pick people at random. It doesn't. Mulder's explanation is right. It then looks for that next person that has, in effect, what we would class as like a stressor, something where there's a moment in that person's life where they become completely vulnerable because of the, the circumstances of what naturally occurs around them. And her just losing him at that moment was perfect for it to move to her. And she attacked straight away, but there's no answers to it. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's nothing... There's no substance and evidence to prove either way. So Reyes dragging this up for Doggett, like she said, was maybe to save the little girl, not to save your boy, because that's already happened. And for you to get answers, but unfortunately you didn't. But you are still close-minded on the subject. Feeling that you... He said himself, I need to know. I did everything I possibly could. And if there's something out the realms of normal police work and normal ways you would investigate investigate a murder, especially your own sons, th then you should look into it, but he's still in denial with it. But at least Scully's okay. That's the first thing. Um, I'm wondering if the doll was maybe his sister's because he said he was clearing out his mum's old house. Most likely. Doubt it was his. And that's the first time Doggett and Mulder have kind of been in the same room where they've not been at each other's throat. <laughs> wow. That was... Uh... <sighs> that was enlightening for... for Doggett in a certain way. But as Mulder said, the pisser is. You're probably never going to know. This thing's just going to move on. I think it's been around for a long, long time. Right, we're done. I will be back with episode 18. We do two episodes a week, I'm sure you know by now. Uh, by all means, post your comments down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with X-Files, I would appreciate it if you hit the sub down here. And if you want to watch any of them in full length, they are available over on Patreon for you. I will be back with episode uh, 18 next. Till then, guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you for the next one. Don't